Oh, I know what this is going to be. Spencer's just going to go off on a hate rant about the new trailer, and then he's going to bring up Reflex, and then he's going to bring up MX Simulator, and I'm just going to comment something really stupid without even watching his video. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, watch your motherfucking tone, boy. Get hurt, boy. God dang, man. <laughs> There's so many people, like seriously, they will comment something on my video. And I know for a fact they have not even watched two seconds of my video and they're already commenting something stupid on it. It's like, dog, <laughs> like I understand that's that's the YouTube realm, but give me a break, bro. Like, instead of just throwing that completely random blanketed, oh, Spencer Turley is just a hater of Milestone Motocross games, why don't you actually listen to what I'm trying to say? Why don't you actually watch the full video and realize I have a lot of experience in these motocross games and understand there are times where I'm just over-exaggerating things and I'm messing around and playing around, joking around with you a little bit. I don't know if you can't tell by the tone of my voice a lot of times, but you're like, dudes, <laughs> you know, you, you take some things I say way, way, way too seriously and you're, you're, you're defending things way too hardcore. So either way, we got our new trailer for monster energy supercross 2 the official video game now this is the first sort of actual gameplay trailer and it's only a minute long <laughs> when i say a minute long i mean a minute long it's one lap on one track okay and the reason why i'm not actually showing gameplay of that in this video is because i just don't want to even have to attempt to mess around with any sort of copyright anything like that and all it'll take you is one little simple click and you can go watch it in 2.5 seconds. Like it's such a short trailer. It's not even really like I can just sit here and, you know, react to it a bunch in a video or you're just going to see me replay in one trailer a thousand times over. So I thought that'd kind of be a bit silly, but uh, I've watched the trailer 10 times right in a row. So I've got a pretty good idea on what's going on here. So one thing I need to say right off the bat is it is only one lap of gameplay. <laughs> so, I mean you're not really seeing all that much to begin with here. So any sort of little opinion I give in this video, you're going to have to take that with a grain of salt because it, there's really no gameplay. I mean, yeah, there's one lap of gameplay, but really there isn't a whole lot of gameplay here. And I feel like we're going to see more, a whole lot more here in the near future. So it is what it is, but uh, I'm just wanting to make that a big point. Like, yes, I understand there's like pretty much no gameplay even though there is gameplay because of how little gameplay they actually have out there like i get it dog like save all your time trying to comment down below hey spencer you do realize the game hasn't came out yet hey spencer you do realize this is only a little bit of the gameplay hey spencer you do realize that uh it's still uh two months till the game comes out yes i do realize that it is still two months till the game comes out but one thing i will say is Everybody loves to bring that little excuse up, you know. Hey, Spencer, they're still working on the game. The game's not even out yet. And we go through this same old process every single time one of these new motocross games comes out. Everyone gets this sort of fantasy in their head thinking that the game is going to somehow drastically, magically change in this very little amount of time between when they see the trailer and when the game's actually supposed to come out. And it just never really does. It never really changes in this massive way. So a lot of times what you're seeing in those trailers before it comes out for these milestone motocross games, you're damn near going to get that exact product. So let's go in here and talk about what I actually saw in the little one minute trailer, right? So, I mean, obviously you can certainly see the similarities to the first game and I ain't even trying to question that, which it is the second rendition second in a series of the game so you have to expect that to a certain extent and i understand it but uh one little concerning thing i've noticed in the gameplay and this is the first gameplay we've seen of the game uh anything before that has been simply screenshots it's the first time we're actually seeing actual somebody play in the game and uh, one thing that's uh oof i just i don't know about this one boys because to me it kind of looks like they have mixed the first official Monster Energy Supercross game with MXGP Pro 
in a bit of a very weird way. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it any more than that, but basically, like, the whips almost look like MXGP Pro whips. Did you guys notice that in the gameplay? And I don't know. I mean, I know it's just a little bit of gameplay. It's not like they're whipping it backwards. Like, you can see the full in-air physics system of it and everything, but I'm just saying... There is something like scary reminiscent to the way that those whips and in-air physics are looking in this official Monster Energy Supercross game too, to the way they were in MXGP Pro, which was terrible. So I'm just hoping and praying to Pastrana that they're not going to be like that in the final game. But I mean, as far as like the cornering and the way that the bike's kind of riding around and stuff, it does not look all that much different than the first one. It really doesn't. I mean, of course, I'm not going to know until I actually get my hands on it. But, um, yeah, I mean, the ground, one thing I did notice about the dirt on that particular track they were on is it did seem to look a little bit more like a uh, little bit more kind of grainy looking, like a little bit more hardcore dirt look to it. I don't know how to explain that to you, but that is one look not as soft. You know, the dirt doesn't look as soft, like texture wise. So um, that's a little bit of an interesting thing, but the, the gameplay itself is very, very reminiscent to the first game, but it just looks like maybe they've integrated certain little things from MXGP Pro in there. I don't know. That's just what it looks like to me. There is certainly nothing in the gameplay that is just totally like making me think, oh, hell yeah, this game's going to be, you know, downright amazing or anything. And, oh, I'm going to get some dislikes for that, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I can already see them flowing in, dog. But, uh, like, I'm just telling you, nothing's, nothing's like, super, super impressing me. And I don't have this, like, pre-agenda to hate on this game before it comes out. Um, I don't at all. I mean, I actually have high hopes for this game. I think they've got a lot of potential to make it a great game, but I'm just telling you the real from what I'm seeing from the gameplay of the little one-minute gameplay. It looks pretty similar. I mean, certainly more towards the irking more towards the side of a 0.5 game and not a brand spanking new game they changed the ui up a little bit they changed the little mini map up a little bit to make it look a little bit different but really that gameplay is looking very very similar um very similar now when it comes to the actual track design this is where it starts to get a little bit more intriguing a little bit more interesting i did notice the peakness and some of the rhythms seem to be a little slightly more complex and like how how uh, sharp down some of the landings of the supercross jumps are seem to be a little bit more like skill gapped to me i mean slightly not a whole lot but certainly a little bit on that one particular track and good god it's just one track you know it's one lap of one track like i'm saying I, it's hard to even say anything about it because there's just not enough damn gameplay there which is kind of scary in itself that they come out with a gameplay trailer that's one lap one lap what the hell if i was really excited about showing you my new motocross game i would not just show you one real quick lap on a track <laughs> i wouldn't be doing that two months until the game comes out holy shit <laughs> like i don't know if some of you guys realize what that kind of means but that's that's a little bit worrisome no matter who you are that's a little bit worrisome man and uh i don't know any other way to say that but one little bizarre thing that i did notice was when, apparently in this new Fisher Monster Energy Supercross 2 game, when you like land a jump really well, this icon pops up like, bing, perfect. And then when you jump it like a little bit worse, the icon pops up like, bing, you, you jumped it like semi good, right? And then when you jump it really bad, an icon pops up like, bing, you didn't jump it good at all. Almost like a mobile game. You know how some of those... Uh, like rhythm style mobile games where you're trying to jump a rhythm and it's like these icons pop up every time you land like telling you how good you hit the the rhythm or whatever that's in this game and i'm really confused because that's literally something you'd see in a mobile game like what is that milestone uh, i don't know where that is coming from at all but I'm pretty sure about 99.99% .99 of us guys out here don't really want to have an icon pop up every single time we land on a jump telling us how good we hit the jump. <laughs> like, they're, they're almost trying to make it, you know, too much like a Forza game or whatever when you come around a corner and the little thing goes, bing, you hit the corner perfect, bing, you hit the corner, you know, 69% good, bing, you hit that corner terribly, you know, whatever the case may be. It's like they're trying to do that and it just does not fit in a motocross game, in my opinion. Right, Some two-year-old kid may love that. I don't know, but I'm just saying, for the love of God, there would best be a damn option in there to turn that completely off, and I hope there is. 
Um, so when, when you talk about the actual physics of this new game, there's kind of two different ways it can go from what I'm seeing, right? I'm telling you, it's kind of like they mixed MXGP Pro with Monster Energy Supercross the official video game, the first one, and that can either go really well or really bad. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, there is really no other way to say that. It's just, it, it can take the bad things from MXGP Pro and then be like a shit sandwich, or it can take the good things from MXGP Pro and leave out the bad things, and now you've got the official Monster Energy Supercross first game with just a little bit more of that ground cornering skill gap like MXGP Pro has without going too ridiculous on it, but still having that really good whip system of the first. Oh, I'll say really good. Uh, you know, we got it. That's all uh, relative here, boys, right? It's really good compared to MXGP Pro, the first game was the official monster Energy supercross games whips were really good compared to mxgp pro but they're god awful compared to just about every other motocross game so it's it's all relative you gotta understand the realm that i'm speaking in here when i say stuff like that um so but what i'm saying is is you know not having the god awful whips of mxgp pro but taking the good cornering system of mxgp pro i'm hoping that's the way it is it's oh there is one time that they whip with the eli tomac on this new gameplay and it literally damn near looks identical it's got to mxgp pro like how you he, he didn't really whip it over super far he in the whip the actual way the whip looked didn't really look like the first official monster Energy supercross game it looked more like that mxgp pro where it kind of just glides the back end out a little bit straight it doesn't actually like really like rotate up over so that's really bizarre. I don't know what the hell that's actually going to feel like. Um, but it just, I mean, yeah, the rhythms might be a little bit more complex, but I'm not seeing anything. It's just making me jump for joy or anything about this this new game. I mean, nothing's just like, oh, my God, hell, yeah, they've they've definitely improved upon that or whatever. Now, uh, they there was a spot where Eli Tomac in the game actually came up short on a rhythm section jump and it did kind of slow him down a little bit you know you could kind of see the oomph like he hit the ground kind of slowed down so i don't know what the hell um i'm just gonna have to make some follow-up videos that's really all there is to it when they come out with some more gameplay why the hell did they not give us a little bit more gameplay than one lap jesus christ like come on now milestone please please <laughs> uh so hopefully they're hopefully it's got a better feeling than the first one. I mean, oh man, I'm praying to God, praying to God. It's got that better skill gap, better feeling. Um, I just certainly hope it feels more like the official Monster Energy Supercross game than it does MXGP Pro, and we'll just have to wait and see. But I mean, you know, as far as the overall physics system, I just don't don't get too excited because I don't. I just don't know. I, I just don't know if it's really going to meet up to some people's expectations or hype for it. I really don't. I, I'm, I mean, I'm starting now to lean a little bit more towards that. It might be just a 15% improvement or a 10% improvement over the first game and not like a, like a whole new game, you know what I mean? Or like a 50% improvement or whatever. Could be a lot more slight of an improvement than some people are thinking. So, Either way, I mean, you guys let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, I know you haters will anyways, but uh, without even watching the video. But um, who knows? I mean, I'm coming out here telling you I'm seeing one minute of damn gameplay, and that ain't enough time to tell anything. So take it with a grain of salt. I don't know. I'm just telling you what it looks like, what I'm seeing with my own two damn eyes, and it's my own damn opinion at the end of the day. So if you got a different opinion, that's okay, right? We can, we're different people here. Uh, but I'm just saying... I'm not seeing anything revolutionary in that that first gameplay of Official Monster Energy Supercross 2, the video game. Not seeing anything revolutionary. Very, very similar to the first one gameplay-wise. And graphically looks maybe slightly better. Like, maybe. I don't really know. Not, not like crazy better, which they already have pretty good graphics in their game, so I'm not too concerned about that. But my big thing is just that feeling of the bike, bro, and that track design and rhythms actually meaning something when you go over something and whoops actually um you know being a little bit more difficult i don't know if they actually hit a whoop section in the gameplay or not i'm, kind of, I'm trying to think back in my head i can't remember if i actually seen them ride over a whoop section they may have i don't know but i certainly didn't look like 
oh my God, finally the whoops are fixed or anything like that for me to really it be memorable in my mind or anything. But uh, yeah, man, either way, that's about it for this video. I just want to get on here and chitty chat about it just a little bit uh, on the new gameplay. I thought I, I kind of got a bit of an obligation here to do that uh, from all the videos I made on these games and stuff. But it's, uh, yeah, I'm still going to get it. What does it come out like February 8th or something? That's like pretty damn soon, you know, like uh, barely two months away. It's more like month and a half ish away. So, and I think Milestone understands like they they've been down that road of they they say it's a work in progress, right? And they come out with gameplay of it, and people are starting to realize it doesn't really change all that much from when we see that early gameplay. It just doesn't. Like it may change a little bit. But that two months, you can't even do that in a month's worth of working on the game. You can't even make that massive of a change. And even going further, you can't even make that massive of a change working on a game for, you know, however many months they've been working on it since they made the first one. Like, what, one year, less than a year, a little bit yet less than a year they've been working on the second one? So it's just like they, they either have to have some kind of astronomical manpower over there or something to be able to pump out these games every single year. I mean, I'm, I'm just concerned that it's going to turn into this sort of cash cow more than it actually is like a solid, true motocross game. I think it's going to be more of a... People that don't even really play motocross games are going to play the official Monster Energy Supercross game. Like, that's honestly what I feel like that this, that this game is going to get to, and I hope it doesn't. I hope they don't get so caught up in the, you know money talks and bullshit walks and i get it right like if they're making money off the title of the game and whatever because you know they did off that first game that that probably made more than any motocross game ever even though it ain't even in the top five in my opinion of all-time motocross games but most people just aren't into motocross games like that most people are got more of a casual and, and i don't know i mean certainly um there is some great arcade motocross games out there that are good for casual people, but they also have this super endless skill gap to it. And w when it comes to the official Monster Energy Supercross game, it's like it is just made for casuals, and that's it. You know, that's the kind of feeling you get from these games, and it's, I mean, it's okay. You'll have fun on it for a little while, but I don't know. I I'm hoping what I'm seeing in the gameplay is actually, like, someone that is really, really good at it, and it's not like, oh, hey, you can be this fast on day one as they were on that Eli Tomac dude, right? Like, I'm hoping it's it's a little bit more skill gap than that, but I don't know. I'm just saying she looks pretty similar. Uh, the the way the webs glide over are pert near exactly like they are in MXGP Pro from what I can see. So, uh, yeah, dog, either way, that's about it for this video. We'll, we'll take a look, Ski, when they come out with some more gameplay and whatnot, and then get my opinion on that you know i think everything's going to progress and possibly change a little bit i mean my opinion could totally change once once they come out with more gameplay and then i'm like oh okay it actually looks like this or whatever like all i can do is base it off of what i'm seeing right so that's what i'm doing um but there's certainly some concerns there certainly a little bit of hope a little bit of like man i really want them to pull this off like i honestly do i want them to be able to to make this a great game i want this to be like best motocross game ever i just i don't know how possible and logical and feasible that really is i don't know we just have to wait and see so either way man appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes